Idaho? No, Utaho. I knew it was coming. I just wanted to deliver that line. So we're coming to you from somewhere in Oregon, approaching Idaho. Yeah, so we're in far east Oregon, wandering through these little mountains over here. And we thought we would do a video discussing how to safely tow through mountain passes and through areas of steep grades. And you will see we really have some beautiful scenery here. Uh, I love towing our rig through the mountains, but we've done it enough that we feel we can do it quite safely. Be mindful of the towing capacity of your tow vehicle. First and foremost, I would say make sure that you're within that towing capacity of your vehicle and that your vehicle can tow and stop coming down a 10% grade or 12% grade. It's a different ball game when you get into the mountains, especially if you're out west in the Rocky Mountains, really steep grades. One of the first most important tips I wanted to give to you is don't forget your gearing, your lower gears on your RV or your tow vehicle. With our truck, for example, we have a drive gear, but we also have first, second, and third gear, with first being the lowest. And when we're going down a steep grade, the first thing I will typically do is shift into a lower gear before applying trailer brakes or the brakes of the truck. And I'm assuming that you are already, of course, running your tow vehicle in tow haul mode. In that case, you will have the benefit of an exhaust brake because if your truck has a tow package, it should be equipped with kind of an automatic exhaust brake that will engage when you're in tow haul mode. The bottom line is I think you need to use all the tools in your arsenal. So I'm not only applying brakes, in fact, I use these other tools first. Use your exhaust brake and your gearing first and that will save the life of your trailer brakes and your tow vehicle brakes. So typically if the exhaust brake and the gearing is not completely getting it done, then I might lightly tap the tow vehicle brakes just to make sure that the gearing is fully engaged. And if I'm still having any kind of issue, then I will apply the trailer brakes. It's sort of the last thing that I would do. Definitely just err on the side of caution and take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Be in tow haul mode. Use your exhaust brake. Use the additional gears of your vehicle because I believe a lot of people forget about that and that sometimes can be the greatest asset you have. Then go to your tow vehicle and your trailer brakes. Yeah. And if that doesn't slow down your rig, uh, put on a helmet. <laughs> you might be using one of those runaway truck ramps. You know? yeah. So we want to open it up to you guys too because I know there are a lot of experienced RV travelers in our audience and also a lot of truck drivers. Yeah. Um, how about giving us some advice? What techniques have you found work well for you uh, when traversing these treacherous mountain passes? <laughs> <laughs> Post a comment. Let us know what works well for you guys. Have you ever had a scary situation? Have you ever been in a runaway vehicle situation? Or have you ever witnessed that? Yeah, that's scary. That's scary to think about. You see these truck runoff ramps. I've never seen one of them actually used, but I know that from time to time they are used. Also, if you have any questions you would like for us to tackle in a future episode of Long Long Honeymoon, please leave them in the comments down below. We're always looking for good topics to talk about. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. I know we ask every time, but um, it really does make a difference. And if you click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button, then you will get a notification every time we post a new video. Also, you can find us on Facebook, 
and on Instagram. Just search for Long Long Honeymoon and we'll be there. Until next time, guys. Why does this guy always interrupt us at the end of a video? Lolo. Lolo. Hey guys, if you like our videos, a great way to say gracias, senor, is to visit our store on Amazon. You can go directly to amazon.com slash shop slash long long honeymoon, or you can go to longlonghoneymoon.com and click the large supply store icon on the main page. The icon is so large, I don't even need my eyeglasses to see it. In our store, you will find all sorts of cool stuff, including long long honeymoon hoodies, long long honeymoon t-shirts, my hat, my shoes, my old underwear, my self-respect, everything must go. Proceeds from our Amazon store are reinvested into our show, which requires large amounts of duct tape and lubricant to keep running smoothly. Who let the flies out?